Hey, good morning. Just finishing up the song. Welcome to the Daily Dose. Another episode of the Daily Dose. We are talking about weight loss. Really the number one way to spend less on weight loss. I'm going to give you the number one tried and true, like number one way to spend less on weight loss. If you catch this on a replay, I wanna know later when you watch it, just drop a hashtag replay. If you're catching this live, come on, say live, say hello. Let me know where you're from. But let's jump right in. The number one way to spend less on weight loss. We're gonna jump, I'm gonna give you the answer. <clears throat> and it's simple. Invest more now. That's it. It's simple. That's it. Invest more now. Hear me out on this. So spending less on weight loss. The best way to spend weight loss, spend less on weight loss is to get the solution now. The quickest way to solve spending a lot of money on weight loss is to find a solution. So how do you find a solution? Can you wing it on your own? Can you go down the path of buying into cookies and processed food and packaged diet plans and uh, you know little droplets under your tongue and extreme weight loss measures and wraps and creams and lotions and potions and all that stuff obviously those are all out there and people spend uh, an enormous amount of money maybe you've spent an enormous amount of money and guess what you, you came up empty maybe you came up with these great results but they were short-lived right we all know that you're smart enough if you've been paying attention to to any of my content for any period of time, you know that, that it's not a solution. So really, truly, the number one way to spend less on weight loss is to invest more now. Now, I didn't say just invest in anything. I didn't say invest in more wraps, invest in more shakes, invest in more diet uh, potions and pills and packaged foods and, and spending hundreds. And I hear, I talk to people all the time. I'm spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month and they're not learning how to change behaviors, change lifestyle habits. They're just basically relying on processed packaged foods, whether they're healthy or not. So that's something that I want you to think about while you're going into it. So what do you invest now more with? Well, invest more into yourself, invest more into a solution, maybe invest in coaching and mentor. There's a reason why. This is the first year I would say, and I'll, and I'll be open and transparent with you that I've hired a coach, a fitness coach to help me. Now, I'm not on a weight loss journey right now. I'm on a health journey and I have a certain level of health that I want to get to. And I know that I will get there much faster when I have somebody that's actually helping me along the way, who's helping to push me, who's helping to hold me accountable, who's really helping me when I tend to bump up against the rails or want to maybe even fall, I don't want to, but fall off the cliff. Having coaching and mentorship and advisors and, if you will, people that have already done it with a number of other people. And I chose, and I'll be open and transparent, I've, I've invested upwards over $6,000 for my own personal health and fitness journey. Why? Because I know the value of it. I know the importance. And yes, I'm the health and fitness coach. I help, you know, I'm the Bulletproof Christian Fitness Mentor. Well, part of me becoming Bulletproof is realizing it's a lot harder to do it on your own. Can I get an amen there? right? Or relying on some sort of a hokey pokey, wacky, you know, another kind of diet program, diet pill, diet, you know, formula, or some inexperienced coaching or inexperienced trainers who really don't understand the season of life that you're in. And maybe they, they look the part, but they don't have a track record of success. So if they do, that's awesome. Um, the number one way to, is the number one way truly to spend less on weight loss is to invest now as much as you can invest it's interesting that i talk to people and i'll just i'm going to be transparent a little bit today it's thursday and i'm excited my wife uh is having a birthday and we don't need to share but she's in around my age but her birthday is coming up on tuesday and i'm excited why am i excited now i love her she's you know like 20 years we've been together we'll be married uh, 19 years at the end of this month. I can't wait to celebrate. By the way, I'm doing something crazy for an anniversary special. 
But again, you're not going to hear about it if you didn't reach out to get on a call with me. I'm doing something awesome with it. There's no sense to share it here. If you're not serious or interested and you're just interested in some sort of a deal, I'm probably not the right fit for you. But if you are ready to invest in yourself, if you're ready to have a coach who's done what you're trying to get to with a lot of other people over the course of 26 years, um, reach out to me, send me a message, say, just send the message anniversary special. I'll get you on a call with me and we'll go through it. We'll take care of it. We'll see if you're a good fit first. And then we'll talk about that special offer, but let's jump in. As I talk about my wife and I'm bragging on her, one of the things that I know She's invested early on. We used to, I say we used to, she used to come to my spin classes and boxing classes when we were dating way, way back in the days of New York City when we used to live there back in like the late 90s, right? And uh, she's invested in herself and her health over the years. I've always encouraged her. Obviously, I'm the coach. The fitness person is maybe a little bit easier, but maybe it was a little harder. Think about it. You're living with a personal trainer coach. You're married to a coach and a trainer who helps people with weight loss. So there's a little bit of accountability there, but it's tough. And I would say she invested in herself early on. She invested time. She invested effort. She made it a point. She got to the gym at 5.30 a.m., she has to be at work at seven. People tell me, Mark, I got to go to work early. Well, what's preventing you from getting up earlier? My, my wife got up at 4.30 this morning, got ready, went to the gym at 5.30, and she's already at work right now. Because why? She's invested. She's vested in the time that she's taking out to take care of herself. And here's the crazy thing. And I talk to people on a call, and they're ready, and they're serious, and like, I want to do this, and I want your help, and I'm, I'm ready to invest in myself. But I gotta let me talk. I gotta talk to my my spouse. You know, you've been married to for 20 years, and I get it when it comes to financial stuff. And usually, that's a kind way of saying that they're they're oh, it's not. I'm just not willing to invest that kind of money into myself, and it's not cheap. I'm not some sort of a hundred dollar coach, right? So what's really interesting is I think to myself, I would never want my wife to think that she couldn't invest hard-earned money of ours into improving her health, potentially adding years to her life, making her feel confident and sexy for me, even though I think she is. And most spouses, if you love your, your, your significant other, like most good spouses will, right? You're going to love them, you know, through thick and thin, no matter what say and size they are, you know, the good times and the bad, sickness and the health. But why not improve? Why not it be healthier? Why not it be sexier? Why not it be more confident? What's, what's to say we can't live a healthy, more confident, more, um, more, uh, I say feeling comfortable in our own skin while it comes to being with the person you're probably going to be the with the most the rest of your life, right? How is that not worth an investment? Although, gosh, you know, Mark, we're really, you know, it, it's, I would love to do this, but you know, we're, we're renovating our kitchen and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> I get it. I got to renovate kitchens and we got to put roofs on and take care of kids' tuitions and all that stuff. And I'm like, okay, those are all great, valuable things, but how are you not valuable enough to invest now? The biggest problem I see, the, the number one way I see people that fail on their weight loss journey is they fail to value themselves enough to, to make a big investment. And I'm not just saying financially, investing time, taking time out of your busy, hectic, crazy schedule and your busy, hectic day. Mark, I have this job and that job and I'm running here and I have to take care of this and I got to take care of grandkids and all that. And I get, I was like, so how is your day not valuable enough or how are you not valuable enough to actually carve out time for you? Oh, Mark, everybody else needs me in my life right now. Everybody like relies on me for this and I got to work, pay the bills and I'm a single mom and I get, I get it. I get all those things. I, I work with people like that as well. But the difference between the people that invested in a coach and invest in the program like I have, and there's other coaches out there, but like mine is that they realize that they're gonna be so much better in their relationship with their spouse and their children, their time and their energy at work and their focus and their confidence and the way they look at themselves in the mirror when they get ready for work in the morning and being able to fit in clothes and having the confidence to go out in public and not feel self-conscious or go to the beach. Like there's a value for those people who want to get to that kind of level versus just letting everybody step all over you and take all your time, take all your energy, take all your effort, take all your, your physical resources, your emotional resources, your mental resources, and maybe your financial resources. So truly the number one way to spend less 
on weight loss is truly to invest more. Now, here's a perfect, here's a perfect way to do a little self-assessment after you get done listening to this daily dose. Write down where your money goes right now. Write down where you're spending your money. It's super easy. You do like me. I have one credit card. We put all our bills on there and I can take a look and do an inventory and say, this was for business and this is for pleasure. And this is for like our expenses, our house, you know, that mortgage, car bills, blah, blah, blah. And then in myself investing, a lot of people I know are coming up like this. Oh, no, 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 Mark. I'm investing in myself. I have that gym membership at Planet Fitness. Okay. $10 a month. That's what you're, value that's what you're putting a worth to your health. The one body that you get to go through life with is worth a $10 gym membership that you might be going to once every other week. Or even some of those, those gimmicks and products out there, you're spending maybe 100, 200 bucks, a couple hundred bucks a month on that's doing nothing other than shipping you a bunch of crappy food that tastes like cardboard and you're never going to eat for the rest of your life or you're going to be hating yourself for the rest of your life. Like those are the types of things that I want to really just chime in and maybe this is a little tough love but you know what as a coach and as a mentor as as someone who sees time and time again how long people wait to invest in themselves they end up spending if i can tell you how many people i've talked to who have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars chasing down the wrong solution chasing down quick fixes chasing down broken promise, broken dreams, chasing down the wrong direction. And then they end up not only spending money, harder money, they waste, they spend so much time and effort and they get, dis they just get discouraged and they get stressed out and they get anxious and they end up giving up. And please just hear me out. Even if you've been on that, that struggle bus for a long time, please don't give up. You're worth more than, than, Whatever kind of product you tried, what's already done is done. It's in the past. The good news is you can start investing in yourself. In fact, I have people been struggling for 30 years. I said, you know what? I got to do this. It's a, they come to me where it's a do or die. Now they have to, they're spending money on things like doctor's visits and spending money on buying more clothes because the ones they have in their closet don't fit. And those were the size clothes that didn't fit before the other ones didn't fit. And those are the ones that they bought prior to when the ones that they originally used to fit in didn't fit, right? How many sets of clothes and size do you have in your closet? How much money did that cost you? How much, how much did it cost you in not being able to do the things that you wanted to do with your family because you just simply weren't in the kind of shape you felt, you know, you, you were out of breath going upstairs. You couldn't go skiing down the slopes or you couldn't go for that hike with your family member. Like you're losing out, you're missing, you're spending a lot of time, you're spending a lot of your life because you're just choosing not to invest in yourself. And again, it's way beyond just a financial investment. You gotta actually do the work. You gotta step up to the plate. You gotta be willing to carve out some time. It doesn't have to be much. If you think you need two hours in the gym to get in shape, I'll let you talk to all of my students who are working out no more than 20 to 30 minutes a day. Majority of them, 20 to 30 minutes a day. I'm going to be sharing a testimony. Actually, we did a live interview in my Bulletproof Fit Christians Over 40 free Facebook group. And I shared in a success of somebody that just started six weeks ago. And she's already seeing visible changes in her body. Not from anything extreme. But guess why she's doing that? Because she chose to get it. She chose to get around somebody who has done it before. She realized she can't do it on her own. She needed to have something that was quick and simple that she can do in her busy life with three kids. And guess what? She's not only getting results, but she's getting, she's getting the investment in herself now so that she can be able to do the things she wants to do for the rest of her life. And if that's you, again, send me the message. Just do anniversary special. We'll hop on a quick call. We'll see uh, if you're a good fit for my program. And if you are, I got something really nice this month. May is a really special month. My wife's birthday and our anniversary is coming up on the 25th. Anyway, take care and have a blessed day and I'll talk to you soon.